Okay, so this is a quick tutorial about using the Tor browser bundle. So now, uh, what is Tor? So it's actually a program, a free software that helps you protect yourself against network surveillance or network traffic analysis. So it's actually there to protect your privacy. And so you get to hide your real IP address and if you want to learn more about how it works just click this link over here and it will take you through actually the history of Tor the reasons why we need Tor and how it works so basically it just keeps on uh, changing the path from the source to the destination the source being you and the destination being the websites you visit and okay just read through that if you're interested the technical details but if not let's just go on and download Tor so you can see it already detected that I'm using a Windows OS so it took me through it took me to this page but if you're not using Windows, there are other options. It also works for Mac, Linux, Unix, and so on, even for smartphones. So, uh, okay, since I'm using Windows, let's use that. And I'll click the download button right here. As you can see, I've already downloaded the software the .xz file so you will see here the Tor browser bundle version number and yes I, so I won't go through that anymore so if we go to the folder where I downloaded it here it is so you can either double click that or run it as administrator or just open it and uh, uh, the software already knows that I'm using 7-zip as my decompression or extraction software so all I need to do is just double click that and then a pop-up will appear warning me that the publisher is not verified but of course we know it comes from Tor so we just run it and extract it to the desired location so in this case I'm going to extract it right here in the same folder and it will take me through the process of the extraction you will also find that a directory called Tor browser was created directory or folder uh, depends on whether you're using Windows or Linux so the extraction has already completed I'll just click through the folder and it will take me uh, to this file called the starttorbrowser.exe file and it comes with four other folders uh, we won't be concerning ourselves with that so let's just click the starttorbrowser.exe file and a Vidalia control panel will appear and will start connecting you to the Tor network so just sit back and allow it to work so if we so if you check the status uh, you will find that we have already uh, connected to the Tor network otherwise you will find error messages in this uh, area right here under status well uh, so far so good so let's just hide this 
and it will automatically pop up a Tor browser and it's specially configured to keep your privacy anonymous so right here uh, you are now free to browse the internet anonymously and it will tell me what my current IP address is so right now it's 96.44.189.101 okay so we can actually go to what is my ip.com and it will tell me what my current IP is so I'm confident that it won't show my real IP address so it will either show this one or another IP address all right so it's showing 96.44.189.101 all right and I can assure you that's not my real IP address so it actually works and it couldn't even detect that I'm hiding behind a proxy okay if we put in the address that was assigned to me by Tor it will show that I'm actually in the US well I'm not I'm in Australia so that's an example of how Tor works and that's how it uh, functions to throw off people who are actually trying to trace down trace your location so I'm now back to using the Tor browser and you will find that my IP address has yet again changed so that's what Tor does it changes your IP address every so and so minutes so that keeps it uh, more anonymous it's even more difficult to trace your exact location since you're always hopping from one IP address to another alright so I hope you learned a lot so keep coming back for more tutorials on different tools and have a good day.